with breaking news. The state stepping in, securing new owners for five hospitals that belong to Stewart Healthcare. Now, Stewart says these deals were in the works, and the Healy administration is now making sure they happen. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm David Wade. The state is actually seizing one hospital to make sure its future is secure. But as WBZ's Christina Hager shows us, the state will still not take any steps to save two hospitals now scheduled to close. Carney! Carney! As the controversy over the sudden closure of Stewart hospitals heats up, a new plan. I'm pleased to say we're closing the book on Stewart once and for all in Massachusetts. Good riddance and goodbye. Massachusetts Governor Maura Healey announcing a deal that will not save Kearney Hospital and Neshoba Valley, still set to shut their doors by the end of this month. But it will pump $30 million into a plan to save five other hospitals across the state over six campuses. I am taking action today to seize control of St. Elizabeth's through an imminent domain proceeding. That will facilitate the transition of St. Elizabeth's to a responsible new owner. If the deals go through as planned, Boston Medical Center would take over St. E's and Good Samaritan in Brockton. Lawrence General Hospital will take over Holy Family Hospitals in Haverhill and Methuen. And Lifespan would assume operations at Morton Hospital in Taunton and St. Anne's in Fall River. It's just perfect. I can walk to here if I have to. Jerry Jellison here at St. E's for an eye exam hopes the deal works. There's a lot of people in this part of Boston and uh, we need something like this. I've been coming here since I was an infant, so yeah, it's really important to us. With this, Healy joining critics who have lined up in protest of what they call greed and negligence on the part of Stewart which they say put vital health care resources in serious jeopardy. Stewart also owns Norwood Hospital, which had to shut down because of flooding. The governor says this deal does not impact Norwood, that that would be determined at a later date. As for Stewart, we have not received any response to our inquiries. In Boston, Christina Hager, WBZ News.